retro sign. Well, it's been a rough couple of days here, but I had a couple of small successes, victories, if you will, and to celebrate, I'm gonna hang that sign. Beth and I picked that up in an antique store when we were out on a road trip, reminded us of Mountain View Ranch. Beth is coming down to visit me, and uh, I thought I would hang that up and see if she notices. I'm gonna use some materials that I've scavenged from when we took down the old barn. This is uh, some aircraft cable that was actually holding the trusses together. So I'm gonna make a little loop, put a screw through that, and hang that sign. And I'm gonna reuse some of this material and uh, don't need this eye bolt, but I do wanna use this little eye, make it a little cleaner. So we'll put a loop in this just like so, and then clamp that down with a couple of these wire clamps. Okay, that'll do. This is kind of fun actually because I'm reusing some material from when we took down the old barn, and I like that idea. There we have it, two eye loops recycling material and uh, let's hang that sign. Okay, this is the little wire attachment that I've made that'll clip on the end of the sign and then will allow me to hang it from the cable that we just hung. And again, I'm just recycling some old baling wire from the um, barn tear down. Uh, my policy is never throw anything away. So that old screw and that old eye bolt along with the other little miscellaneous parts and that wire will be coiled up for use later. You never know when it will come in handy but let me show you how I made this little guy. So first thing I did was just take a piece of wire and just kind of straighten it out a little bit. Now I'm going to find the middle of it and the best way to do that real quickly is just hold two ends and bring your fingers together and that usually will find the middle. So I took my pliers and made a 90 degree bend and then just straightened it out and then I brought it over here and got a sense of where the next bend should be, just gave it a little bit of a bend and then I will straighten that up so I've got that little staple looking device. Now to make everything the same I basically took the width of my needle nose pliers which is how I got that dimension right there so I'll just bend that and then the same thing over here and then I end up with that little D-shaped ring roughly about the same size. Now I just put my pliers in the center, kind of visualize center, and bend those wires back up, just like that. Now I'm going to twist those wires together and what I did was just basically hold it with my needle nose pliers, get a cross right there and it's a little little difficult to start off with but once you get it going it works fine roughly the same good now just bend these out you guys know me too well I gotta trim that that's too long there we go we got two of those that are roughly the same I'm gonna clip one right there and one
Uh-oh. What? You're going to have to see that. Retro sign. Oh, it's double-sided. 